Is your television watching you right now? Probably, but not from a hidden camera, but what the television is doing behind the scenes. It is rare for TVs to have hidden cameras, but some do. You can search yourself by shining a light around the frame to look for a reflection on the lens. But the fact is, TVs don't need cameras to spy on people. Smart TVs are equipped to gather information on what you watch, how long you watch it, and what you search for. Manufacturers call this post-purchase monetization, which they earn for as long as you own the TV. Uh, they sell that information to advertisers to push ads you're most likely interested in. Advertisers are then willing to pay more for those ads since they're reaching their target audience. Uh, this is one reason TV prices have dropped over the last year or two. Manufacturers can earn more revenue from your data than they do when you purchase the set. Now, the good news is the data is not connected to your name. It's connected to your home's IP address, though. As a result, you may see more targeted ads when you open Gmail or browse social media or the Internet. Now, if that's TMI being shared, you can turn off data collection on most smart TVs. In your TV settings, you can look for privacy options and turn on limit tracking. It's about all smart TV manufacturers use post-purchase monetization, and so do Roku Amazon Fire Stick, and the Google TV devices. That's why all of those electronics, including the TVs, are almost always on sale. The product is you. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.